all right Tauruses welcome to my channel this is angel with angel spiritual messages this is going to be what you should or could expect for the weekend of January the 15th um, keep in mind um, I am running a contest for one no contact um, love reading for each zodiac sign um, at the end of January so if you're interested please um, comment subscribe and leave a uh, comment stating that you would like to be entered into the drawing and also turn on your notifications i will send you a reply if you are the winner asking me that excuse me asking that you send me your information to the email in my description box if anyone asks that you do anything other than that then it is not me um because this is a free reading and i don't need anything except your information so that I can get you your free reading um, if you are the winner. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, please reverse the roles as need be. And um, Spirit, if you would just let me know some of the messages that Taurus may need for, that they may actually encounter for the weekend of uh, January the 15th. I see a flipper in there too, guys. I'll grab it as soon as. Quite a bit of messages, y'all. Y'all gonna be busy this weekend. That's for Doc on Shore. All right. I think there's a flipper in here. There definitely is more than one flipper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and let you know what I see. All right. Uh, so here's, you got a time waster coming your way. Uh, love bomber, emotional manipulator, um, ladies man, wanting your attention. So somebody's going to come in that you probably have not heard from in a long time who love bombed you um, like no other in the past. And they're going to try to bring their own little sad, tired self on back around this weekend to see if you'll take the bait. Aries, uh, I said Aries, and they may actually be an Aries. So I don't know why Aries came to my head, but this person may be an Aries. Uh, please leave in the comments if they are Taurus, but watch yourself. Don't fall for this person's craziness because they're only coming in to emotionally manipulate you and, and take you back into a place that you've already um, moved away from. So uh, pay close attention to not fall for that trap. Um, my rock. Someone is starting a solid foundation with someone. Um, if you are um, expecting or have a feeling that someone wants to move a situation to the next level, um, some of you Tauruses are going to get into a solid, committed relationship with the person um, that you are with over the weekend. So they see you as their rock and they think that you are the apple of their eye and they are so infatuated with you. So that is definitely going to happen. So don't be shocked and don't be surprised if someone asks that you move in with them or that you take your commitment from just being friends to being into um, a committed relationship or a relationship into an engagement or an engagement into marriage. I see that happening possibly this weekend. Okay, um, dry spell. Some of you guys are having a dry spell with regard to love and sex, okay, unfortunately. So um, it looks like, you know, you're single in order to end this spell, this dry spell, you're going to have to get out more. You're going to have to get out more because I see some of you sitting at home, you know, woo-woo is me, and, and is sad and depressed about the fact that they have nothing going on. Well, nothing is going to come and knock on your door. So you're going to have to get up, get out of that chair, get yourself dolled up, get yourself uh, dressed up um, and groomed if you're a uh, male tourist and just go out and have fun. Meet new people. Take yourself out to dinner. Sit next to someone at a bar and just have some light, easy conversation. Start making new friends and making yourself more accessible, okay? Um, secrets. Somebody is holding some secrets because it is a, an admirer of yours. I'm going to say that it is someone that you are in a uh, friend dynamic with and you may be in a group of friends and this person has their eye on you and they have not let you know it if you have suspected that then this is your this is your message um, this person is definitely interested 
and they have been keeping their eye on you and watching you and eventually will make a move but don't see the move happening just yet all right um this is going to be a permanent ending guys someone is in a relationship and they are completely unhappy with it. They are unhappy with it because the person that they are with is unwilling to change, unwilling to make um, adjustments to make the situation better um, for the both of you. And you are completely fed up. And you're saying that this is uh, the final straw for you. You don't want to try to work on it anymore. You just want it to be over with so that you can move on to what is out there for you. Okay, so someone is going to end a relationship, a phone call, expression of interest, wanting to talk, uh, communicating is key. So this is someone who is actually trying to come back in and amend, uh, excuse me, and mend a situation with um, you, Taurus. I'm seeing that this is um, a situation where I think someone had the wrong impression, meaning someone thought something that wasn't true. Um, and they are calling uh, to come in and express um, their sincerity and apology to you and wanting to try to get to the bottom of it so that you guys can get back on an equal uh, playing field and possibly start the situation up again. Okay. Okay. Someone has a player coming in, somebody, and, and it is someone that you know from your past. They're not committing. They didn't commit then. They don't plan on committing now. If that's you, please watch out for this person because they are on their way. You also have a person that's strategizing, um, planning their next move, uh, and they are clever. Okay. They're leaving nothing to chance. They're going to make sure when they come in, they are going to romance the, you know, what out of you, and they are going to make sure that they get what they want. And what this person wants is you. They're not coming in to play any games. That's not what I'm feeling. I'm playing that this person, I mean, I am feeling that this person is very, very genuine and sincere in their wants. So if someone reaches out to you that you have a strong connection with and they want to wine and dine you, then they are being very, very serious about it. And then the dating card comes out to confirm this person is very, very serious. They're ready to start dating, meeting new love interest and getting um, over someone else. This is for another Taurus. If you have ended a relationship, please make sure that you are somewhat um, in a proper healing state before you get out there and start dating um, as this card is stating. Because if you get out there and you start dating beforehand, you're just only going to end up in situations that you just got out of. Um, we only attract what we are. So if you're unhealed, you're going to attract an unhealed individual. Um, stringing along, somebody's going to get strung along over the weekend. Um, you know that this person is not for you, but you enjoy their company. You enjoy the way that they make you feel. But the only thing about it is they know that it is nothing and it's just a good time, but you want it to be more. And I'm telling you, they're going to string you along as long as you make yourself available for it. So I would say if you are interested in something solid and you know that this person is not don't put yourself in that situation to experience any heartbreak because you know that this person doesn't want um, a situation like that right now. Um, mirroring. Someone is mirroring the other person. And you guys need to stop it because you're not going to get anywhere with this. If you're in a situation where you both are being bullheaded and neither one of you want to reach out, but you both are thinking about each other constantly, somebody needs to take the adult role and say, I'm going to stop this craziness. I'm not going to play your game. I'm not going to mirror you. I'm going to be the bigger adult. I'm going to raise my vibration and get on a whole different frequency. Please do that if that is you, Taurus, because it's very important um, that in order for you guys to move forward, this mirroring has to stop. Um, next card is going to be Poker Face. Someone is very, very interested in you. Um, and you have been knowing this person for quite some time, but you cannot read them. And they're not going to let you read them. Not just yet. They really want something serious with you, but they are playing this poker face, I mean, and playing it solid. They are going to reveal to you how they feel, but not just yet. Um, but they're going to keep that poker face on over the weekend. You're going to spend time with them, but they're still not going to give up um, all of their feelings and how they feel about you. But they do have true feelings for you. Uh, money is tight. 
this card when it comes out you need to stay yourself at home whoever this is you have spent enough money your money is tight you don't have the money to go out there and hang out with your friends and go out to dinner and have these drinks you cannot afford it be financially responsible don't get yourself into debt and over in over your head and put yourself in a position where you can't pay some bills simply because you ignored the fact that um, you were overspending so pay close attention to that um, secretly stalking somebody has a stalker and here's the thing you know that they're stalking you and they have admitted that they are stalking you so just know this person is still out there they're still checking your social medias they're still riding by your house they are still creating these fake profiles they are still spying on you and guess what what I'm feeling is you know that they're doing it and you don't even care you're like I'm over it. If they want to watch, let them go ahead and watch me. They're not going to do anything to me. You don't feel fearful about it. I don't feel a sense of fear about it. Um, what I'm feeling is that this person uh, has wronged you and they don't know how to come back and fix it. Um, but they're watching you because they want to see what you have going on and trying to find an opportunity on when they can come back. So if you know who this person is, please leave that information in the comment section. I would love to know because uh, they are secretly stalking you. Um, and healing somebody is going to take the weekend to um, reflect on what has happened in a past relationship or a relationship that just ended and you're just going to stay at home and enjoy yourself and enjoy your own company you're not going to um, go out or do anything you're just going to take time to sit um, at home and heal yourself and enjoy your downtime and you know just tap into your spiritual self and enjoy some good movies and some good food even if you're ordering some food in you're not too concerned about going out you just want to get back to a place of peace um, and I can definitely understand that so Taurus this is what I have for you for the weekend of January the 15th I hope this helps you I hope this helps you get ahead of the situations um, that you may be facing because you know that they are coming um, if you would please like comment that you want to be entered into the contest and turn on your notifications and I will add you. Um, thank you so much for your time and I will catch you on the next one.